looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now look no further than my sponsor mutt coin bank guys you seriously cannot beat that value i promise use code poodle for five percent off your order what's going on everybody it's poodle back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'm gonna go over the easiest ways as well as how to get an additional three free 97 overall mud heroes now as you guys do know you were able so far to get one free one and there was a second one i'm gonna go over the rest kind of go over some methods for it as well now the thing with this is is you get a total of four free right as long as you did the first one. if you missed the first one that's only three left but i will go over all that kind of the best ones to choose as well i'm gonna kind of mix of everything in this video but guys before we do get into today's video we go through everything we go over some of the mud hero stuff that i do want to discuss now guys remember mud heroes will be going on at least the objective stuff on so i believe the 26th of the month so i hope that doesn't mean we won't get another promo till then i think that will just be like an ongoing rolling objective list that has no part in other stuff but i can only hope but before we get into the video go down below hit that subscribe button turn the noti bell come join the family give this video a big thumbs up as always and if you haven't already like down below like i said guys it helps out a lot and if you guys need any help with anything comment and of course if you guys need coins head over to my coin bank down below and use code poodle for five percent off your order now let's get into this so first things first guys the missions tab over here is what's important so we have the mud heroes mission tab as you guys can see origin story time to step into the big leagues defeat your arch nemesis these are the current three objectives if you do get all these done guys and you go through and complete this you will go ahead and get yourself enough thing enough things for a free mud hero stuff which i will show you in a second so remember origin story all you got to do here is play your way um through the solos so play way through the solos get a 95 overall fantasy pack 95 overall player sorry then you go to time to step into the big leagues complete all three tier one activities for time to step into the big leagues earn a 93 overall mud here's fantasy pack so complete all three of these activities you need to win 50 games pass for 3,000 yards get 200 tackles next one defeat your arch nemesis accumulate 300 points 1500 yards rushing and force 35 fumbles so that just to go into that i'll go into some methods toward the end of the video stay tuned for that i want to go over the rest of the stuff first but so remember there's those three right there now remember beyond even that guys we have another on, on march 19th and another on march 26th so make sure you are getting this done because this will expire um probably by march 19th so make sure you guys are getting this done so you guys do not miss out on your opportunity to get some free players there's a chance you probably get free three free 97s out of this plus the original so that's four so first off guys what are these these objectives right you can do them in solos or online Again, I'm gonna come back with. I'm um, just remember that, right? Okay, so now let's take you over. Now, how do you once you get those players, right? Because they give you a free 95, a 93, and a 93, or a 95, 95, 93, whatever it is. You get three total players, right? So you're gonna come over to Mud Heroes, Mud Heroes Masters, and you're gonna come into the set. So you need to put a 95, 95, and 93. So pretty much, you take those players and put them in here. Some people were confused, right? Because typically, when you get a free player from a, from solos, you get to the end of the solos, you open your pack, and it's there, right? The, the game gives it to you. In this case, you do not. You have to take three players and put them into a set. So make sure you don't get rid of those other players. So guys, remember, the players are actually auctionable. So you do not have to go ahead and just take a guy you need. You can always just take a guy that goes for the most and sell him for coins. That's option number one. Now, let's say you have a, you know, you, you want to get the player. These are the guys that I would typically recommend. So for me, guys, personally, I'll, I'll give you guys quick descriptions here. So Lamar Jackson. Would I, would I take Lamar Jackson? If you're not a super meta team that needs the hot run master, pocket passer level stuff, if you want a dual threat quarterback that can that get 99 speed, gets all the passing thresholds, can do a little bit of everything, you go Lamar Jackson. If you have some super, if you're some super meta try hard kind of guy, probably don't go Lamar Jackson. Moving on down for my next guy, Tyron Smith. If you don't have a left tackle guys and you don't feel like spending money on O line, just take Tyron Smith, power him up, get him to a 98, and that's it. You have a left tackle, you have an end game left tackle. Call it a day, right? Same uh, same thing with a few other guys of these linemen, but that was the one that I think is the best. Next, guys, Brian Burns. Super fast, super great pass rusher. Moving on down, Bradley Chubb. Bradley Chubb might be my overall number one pick. His speed, block shed, finesse, and power move. Unparalleled to anyone else in this thing. You get it for free. Of course, guys, you can't get three, right? So I'll go over that in just a second. Xavier Rhodes. Again, speed, hip power, zone, man, press, height. He's a great cornerback all around. And then, of course, Mason Crosby, because he is a kicker. So if you don't want to pay for a kicker, you can always get a free one out of here. And sack your team out, right? Now, you can get four. So if I, if I could pick any four here, these are the guys that I would pick, right? Personally, again, Lamar is iffy. I, I wouldn't recommend Lamar to everyone. Again, that's if you want Lamar, because everyone, the quarterback's a tough position to take, but you can sell them, of course. But my, my top ones would be Tyron Smith, like I said, and Bradley Chubb. Those are my two guys. I, no matter what, I think you should take those two guys. Now, let's say you don't need another pass rusher. What I would do is you maybe take Xavier Rhodes or take Tyron Smith, um, Bradley Chubb, and just fill your own line. 
technically, guys, if you get four free, right? If let's say you your whole team stacked besides O-line. If you get four free, what you can go ahead and do is actually take Tyron Smith, take Lakin Tomlinson, JC Treader, Kevin Zeitler, and Ryan Ramsey. Take off, take five of them, right? Well, you can only get four. So take those five guys, pick the four you think are the best, which again it's gonna be really hard to mess up here. Just make sure you, you get at least the top guys. So um take all five take out of the five, take four of them, that's it. You have an entire end game O line right there. I personally think that's very smart. Get it out of the way, and then you could, and then like, and then you might say, wait, but I, I have some alignment. Are they auctionable? If so, go take those alignment. You can go sell them and turn those coins into other positions, or you could just sell these. Or if you don't want that, you could just sell all the cards you get here, and then just turn those into other positions, right? It, it's not a set in stone kind of thing. But yeah, that's pretty much it for that, guys. So that is the mud heroes. That is how you you get them. That is the ones I recommend. Now coming on back, remember there will be more. Um, as we go through the week, there will be more objective lists in the next few weeks. So make sure you guys also make sure you're doing your daily assists for the Mud Hero tokens or Mud Hero badges as well. <clears throat> but back to this. So get these done now. You guys may be wondering, how do I accumulate 300 points? That's just 300 uh, total scores, right? Not touchdowns. Like every touchdown, six points, a PAT, seven points. So 300, like let's say, th what's 30 divided by seven? Five. Uh, time to put a zero at the end of it. It would take you, it would take 50 touchdowns and PATs to get it. So what I would recommend is this. Obvi okay, so there's two ways to do this. Let's say you're not a solo grinder, right? You're just a guy that likes to play online. If you play enough online, you could probably get this stuff done. The points will be easy online. You know, let's say if you average about, I'd say most people average around 20 to 30 points per game, right? A minimum, even in a bad game. Uh, let's say 20 to 30 points per game. It would take you approximately at that rate. It would take you about 15, 15 games, uh, 15, anywhere. If it's 20, it's 15. If it's 30, it would be like eight, right? You know, it, it really just depends. Um, seven to eight games. And that'll be easy to do. Rush 1,500 yards, guys. Again, not the hardest thing to do. But that's actually super easy. So let's say you're playing online. You can just... So the other thing you do, you can play online all weekend, right? Play weekend league. If you get end up finishing most of this, you can finish, you top it off in solos. So the way to do it in solos would be simple. You go into a, a solo where you have to... Like one of the rushing solos. You know the solos that say like rush for 80 yards and your first driver 60 yards? Literally, or ones that start you at the one-yard line, you just do a pitch. You know, it's an arcade. Just take it to the outside. You can get 99 yards per solo. Oh, let's say 80 yards, right? Let's say you can get 80 yards per solo. It would take you 10 total solos to get 800 yards. You could just keep replaying them. Uh, it would take you no longer than probably 5 to 10 minutes. So I would say you can probably get this done in about 15, 20 minutes if you just keep replaying the same solo. And then again, 35 fumbles. Hop on a hop on a defensive solo and just shoot the gap or switch on or just switch on to whoever's getting tackled, right? Let them throw a slant, switch on, hit stick. On, on a hit stick, on, make sure it's an arcade though because if it's an arcade, it will be a fumble each and almost every time that you hit stick them. So make sure you're doing that as well. So like I said, let's say you want to play weekend league first, right? You play weekend league, you end up needing like 12 more fumbles. Not even. Let's say let's say 20, right? That makes more sense. Play weekend league. You need 20 fumbles and you need uh, another 800 or 900 uh, rushing yards. Like I said, go in solos. Keep rushing for long touchdowns. On uh, and just once you're done, replay, it, replay, it, replay, it, replay, it, guys. It'll literally take you like 15, 20 minutes. And while you're doing that, you're also getting touchdowns. So you're gonna keep accumulating points. And then the defensive side, you have to hop onto that. Now defeat your arch nemesis is the other one, right? So this is, oh, sorry, time step into the big leagues. So win 50 games. Again, if you play weekend league, you'll probably get like 10 to 15 to 20 wins there, depending on how good you are, maybe 25, right? And then, you know, you play solos again. The solos will knock out that 50 games very easily, as long as if it counts. If, it, if it's only online games, guys, and play C, oh, it says right there, ultimate challenges. So challenges will count there. So make sure you guys just, you know, the challenges will knock it out. And then pass for 3,000 yards, same thing. You go ahead, you hop into a, um, a passing gauntlet solo that says like pass for 80 yards in the first one. You just lob it up to Tyreek Hill, whatever fast receiver you have, that'll be almost 80 to 90 yards each and every time. So again, there you go again. It would take, you know, if it's 90 yards per game, 10 games would be 900 yards. You figure that's times about four, about 40 games, right? About 40 games, give or take. Could be less, could be a little bit more. You know, that wasn't exact math. But the point is, again, while you're doing that, you're getting the passing yards. Now, what sucks is that, now the fumbles and tackles can be done at the same time. So that, that's pretty cool because pretty much all at the same time, you're doing win games, score points, tackles and fumbles because on the defensive side of the ball if you're forcing fumbles you're also tackling so let's say for every two or three tackles you're forcing a fumble or even every two tackles you're forcing a fumble you'll get those tackles done pretty fast as well the tackles might be the tackles may take the longest in the 50 games uh just because that's what takes a while but again the tackles if you just play weekend league they'll go fast if you're if you're thinking about it and you play the souls it'll, it'll feel long but yeah guys that pretty much wraps it up that's my, my methods there you know pick and choose the soul that works for you depending but that's pretty much it guys remember you can get a total of four players there was one last week there's one this week, and there's two coming up after. So that'll be four total. Again, you could take out, you can build a whole defensive line. You could build Bradley Chubb, Brian Burns on each side. You could take uh, a whole offensive line. Or you could take Chubb, Burns, and then Tyron Smith, and then uh, the other right tackle, Ryan Ramsick, right? You could get an exterior line, um, defensive and offensive, right? That'd be pretty cool as well. 
yeah, that's about it. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're into the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, guys, comment down below. Let me know what's up. Let me know what you guys have been doing. What mud heroes have you been taking? And of course, if you need coins, head over to Mutt Coin Bank down below and use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Take advantage. I'm out. Peace.